Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video I'll show you how you can set up a virtual display, up to four virtual displays. I'll be doing this on Windows 10 but it should work with any other modern Windows version. Let's get started. To begin with, open a web browser of your choice. I'll be using Firefox. First, we're going to go to this link which is in the description. Once you've visited it, it should automatically start a download. Make sure you save that file. Once that's downloaded, we're going to go to the file location where it was and we're going to right click on it. If you don't have WinRAR installed or any other program like that, select Extract All. It should be an option in here, but because I've got WinRAR installed, I'm going to select Extract here. You want to find the folder that it was extracted to, in this case just in the same directory here, and we're going to open it up. Now, we're going to go to the directory up the top and copy it. Make sure this is the directory that has all these files inside it. Now that we've got that copied, we've just got to check one thing. Go to your search bar on the Windows taskbar and type in About Your PC. Select the option up the top. Once you've opened that, look for System Type under Device Specifications and check whether you've got a 64-bit operating system or not. You need to remember if this is 64-bit or not. You can close that now. Next, we're going to go to the search bar and type in CMD. We're then going to select Run as Administrator. Click Yes if a prompt appears. Now that we're in Command Prompt, we're going to type in CD space and then paste in the directory we copied from this folder. You can then click Enter. This has taken us to the directory of that in Command Prompt. Now we're going to type in Device Installer and if your computer was a 64-bit operating system that we checked before, type in 64, but if not, just leave it out. This applies to anything where we type in device installer. But because mine is, I'm going to type in 64. Space install USB MMIDD dot INF USB MMIDD. This will be in the description as well. Click enter. Your screen might flash a couple times, but it should successfully install the drivers. Now that we've installed the drivers, we're going to install the virtual display. So type in device installer, and because mine's a 64-bit operating system, we type in 64, space, enable, IDD1. Now if I press enter to this, it will add one virtual display. You can keep running this command up to four times to have four virtual displays. If you want to remove it, you can type in device installer, add 64 if needed, enable IDD, and then zero, and that will remove it. But I'm going to re-add that with the one, so I can show you. If we open the settings app, then go to system, and then display, we can see that we've now got a virtual monitor added. For proof that this works, I'll remove it. As you can see, it goes away. And now I'll add the virtual monitor again. These are my two monitors, and this is the virtual one. You can change the resolution you want here. Now I'll show you an OBS. Here's OBS here. Under Display Capture, you can see that we've now got that third display. And that's the virtual display there. This means if we move our mouse across all the way, we get access to the virtual display. Even though we don't have a monitor plugged in, the computer thinks we do and displays one here. Now the last thing we need to know how to do is to remove this entirely. If you don't want this anymore and you want to remove it, type in device installer 64 stop USB MMIDD. Now we're going to type in device installer 64 remove USB MMIDD. And there we go. Just before the video ends, I'd like to acknowledge my Patreon supporters. Thank you, Maxi Kipstevitz, for supporting on Patreon.com. I really appreciate it. If you guys would like to support, there's a link in the description. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, I'd appreciate you liking the video or subscribing if you feel as though it really helped you out. If you've got any questions or need help, uh, just type a comment and I'll try and get back to you. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.